tasting. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is much better than I mm. expected. <laughs> wow. So, husband, do you approve? Greatly. Son, do you approve? This is amazing. This is amazing. Judah, do you approve? Yes, ma'am. <laughs>
we're gonna add about one to two inches of vegetable oil over medium high heat. Then we're gonna use three bowls for our flouring station. So in the first bowl, you're gonna add about one and a half cups of self-rising flour. And to that flour, you're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, or you can use white pepper, it's totally up to you. We're gonna mix all those ingredients together, and then we're gonna go ahead and set it to the side to prepare our next flouring bowl. So into this bowl, you're gonna add one cup of cornmeal, half a cup of breadcrumbs of your choice, and we're gonna go ahead and just mix that all together. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside, and now we're gonna mix our liquid ingredients. So first, you're gonna need two eggs. I like to use a fork to mix my eggs because it's so much easier for me than using a whisk. So we're gonna mix those together. And then to that mixture, we're gonna add one cup of buttermilk. And the reason why I'm using buttermilk in this recipe is because it allows the flour and the cornmeal to adhere to the tomatoes a lot better than regular milk. So we're gonna get that nicely mixed up. And now that we have our flouring station all set up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our tomatoes. And as you can see, the napkins are completely saturated with water. So you just wanna get another napkin and just dab the top of the tomatoes to get rid of any excess water. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start breading our tomatoes. So the first thing you wanna do is just stick the tomato in the flour first and make sure it's fully coated. So you wanna make sure you have a dry hand and a wet hand, okay? So now we're just gonna drop the tomato into the buttermilk and egg mixture, and you wanna be very delicate while doing this process. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the tomato into the cornmeal mixture. And you wanna use your dry hand and make sure you coat it completely. And you'll notice here that it's completely covered the tomato. All right, so let's get another look at that, but let's get a close up. So the first thing again, you wanna make sure that you completely coat the tomato with the flouring mixture. With your dry hand, you're gonna go ahead and dump the tomato into the buttermilk and egg mixture. With your wet hand, you're gonna make sure that it's completely coated all over. You wanna be very delicate when you're doing this process. Next, you're gonna go ahead and drop the tomato into the cornmeal mix, and with your dry hand, you're gonna completely coat it, and you wanna make sure you get the sides as well, okay? So you wanna make sure it's nice and crunchy all over the tomato. Then we're gonna just go ahead and just add it to a paper towel or parchment paper lined surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these and we'll be right back because we're gonna get these babies into the frying pan. All right, so now we're over to the frying pan. You wanna make sure that your oil is about 325 degrees Fahrenheit or hot enough to make that nice little sizzle there. You don't want it to be too hot because it will burn your tomatoes on contact. And you also wanna make sure you don't overfill the pan and you wanna keep the tomatoes nicely separated. We're gonna let these cook about four minutes and then we're gonna turn them over and let them cook for another four minutes. Look at that beautiful golden brown color, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that. My mouth is watering like you would not believe. Oh my goodness. All right, so now you notice that it has that really nice golden brown color. That's what you're looking for. And the tomatoes are floating, so that means they're done. Now it's time to remove them from the frying pan and we're gonna place them on a cooling rack. And as you can see there, I have a paper towel underneath the cooling rack to catch any excess oil drippings. Look at that, guys. Let's get a close up. Oh my goodness. Now it's time to get Kendrick and the boys in here to taste test these and see what they think. All right, so taste test. I'm gonna let the hubs and the boys try them and let's see if they approve of it. All right, guys, dig in. All right. Tasting. I wanna eat it right now. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is much better than how I expected. <laughs> wow. What's the sauce? This tastes really good. It's homemade sauce. It's called Rumalot. You want to taste too? Why is it so good? So, husband, do you approve? Great. 
son, do you approve? This is amazing. This is amazing. Judah, do you approve? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> of course, I approve for all your cooking. Tonight. Thank you, honey. Like this, Lord Jesus. This is blessed food. <laughs> This is a meal in itself. Yes, so this is like the appetizer before you guys actually eat um, Sunday's dinner. Mm -hmm. No, we don't eat them all. <laughs> By the way, I um, made some fried pork chop, mashed potatoes, corn, and homemade mm. biscuits. Thank you guys for coming to this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys around. Bye. Goodbye. Deuces. So we hope you enjoyed our version of Southern Style Fried Green Tomatoes. It is one amazing comfort food. And if you did, please leave us a comment down below letting us know what your favorite part of the video was. And don't forget to subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell so you will always know when we upload a new video. We upload a new video at least twice a week, so definitely look out for that. You guys take care, be safe, and God bless.